Hey everybody, this is Pi with srlounge.com. In this video, we're gonna be giving our final review opinion on the Asus G75 VW DS73 laptop that we've been testing. That's a long name. I wanna start this off by saying this is one of my favorite laptops that I've ever owned and used. I've had two prior generations of this exact same model with a G73 and the G74, and those machines were great, but the improvements made on this latest generation are awesome. Let's talk about it, why we feel this is one of our favorite laptops when it comes to use for creative professionals. Now, number one is power. I mean, let's be honest, we don't use these machines because they are small and light. In fact, as far as laptops, these really fit more into the desktop replacement slash mobile workstation category. We use these machines because of their sheer processing power. We have the latest generation i7 chipset. We have three gigabytes of dedicated video memory with the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 670M, an incredibly fast video card. 16 gigs of RAM, we have a native motherboard support for RAID, and enough room for two hard drives. In fact, we have two SSDs installed on this machine. It's a screaming fast laptop that has handled basically everything that we've thrown at it with ease, from editing in Lightroom to real-time video editing in Premiere. It cut through it all like a hot knife through butter. In regards to its display, it features an FHD LED TN display with a resolution, a native resolution of 1920 by 1080. Now, while this isn't an IPS display, if you remember from our IPS versus TN kind of article, it really matters on the overall quality of the TN display. You can use TN displays for editing. It just depends on the quality. And as far as laptops, this is one of the best quality screens that we've seen. It has great viewing angles. It calibrates incredibly well, and it's absolutely sufficient for image editing or color grading, as we talked about in that previous article. Now this thing is loaded with input, output, and media options. We have four USB 3.0 ports. We have HDMI, we have VGA, mini display. We have an SD card reader on the left side. We have our you know, standard mic and stereophone jacks as well. We also have a Blu-ray read-write, I think it's a Blu-ray reader and a DVD writer combo drive. So it has enough input output options, especially for photographers, cinematographers, and just basically you know, creative professionals in general, who need plenty of ports for their additional drives, media, and accessories. Now, in regards to reliability, this machine isn't small, but that design is by intention. With this much power, it has a lot of heat that's being generated inside the machine that needs to be dissipated. And it does this incredibly well through the rear vents on the laptop, which, by the way, looks kind of like a... I don't know, like a spaceship engine or like a Ferrari. It looks like the exhaust on a car or something. It looks pretty awesome. But it's so quiet during normal use that it's actually our primary machine that we use for recording and screen capture tutorials. The only time you're ever gonna hear the fans spin up is during extremely heavy CPU, GPU-oriented tasks or applications, such as, let's say, gaming or, well, gaming is uh, not really a work-related task, but it is a task nonetheless that should be completed. But uh, it performs absolutely well, and you'll notice it spin up, like let's say you're rendering out a Premiere movie or something like that, it will, you'll hear the fans basically spin up in that case. But along with its basically ability to dissipate heat, Asus's use of high quality components, it's made the G75 series one of the most reliable laptops that we've used to date. In fact, of the seven that we have in the studio, we haven't had a single problem with any of them. If you were to take the same specs and try and build it into a smaller machine, you're gonna have several reliability issues as the heat is gonna generate, build up over time, and these components are gonna fail probably within six months to 12 months. All right, now let's talk about the overall value of this machine. We get an incredibly powerful machine with plenty of upgradability for well under $2,000, depending on the specific model that you choose. In fact, this top the line model that's fully upgraded with dual 512 gigabyte SSD drives, we use the Crucial M4 drives, configured into a RAID zero configuration cost us only $2,300 after selling the factory hard drives that it came with. This makes it one of the most incredible values when it comes to mobile workstations as well. But like we said, there were a couple cons and I wanted to cover those as well. Number one, I really wish there was an option basically to get a faster CPU than the one that is available in this machine. I understand that heat and kind of performance, reliability, those are considerations. But basically with this machine, you choose whatever model and they have a certain number of preset models that have different kind of setups and configurations. 
but beyond that, we really can't do much to control it. I wish there was an option that we could basically choose to custom build our G75 off the line and be able to choose a more, just a faster overall processor but not a huge deal because the processor it does come with is very quick. Number two is really the overall size and weight. I mean, for those that have, that are concerned about size and weight, this really is probably not gonna be the laptop for you, given that even though it has so much power, it does weigh around 10 pounds and you need a kind of a specific case. You need really a backpack or something that can fit the 17 inch laptop inside. So it's rather large on that side. The third and final con we already mentioned is just that the display like most TN displays, they come off the production lines very cool. So if you are gonna use it for basically image editing or for color grading and so forth, you wanna make sure that you calibrate it with a calibration device such as a Spider before actually using it for color grading. We use the Spider 4 Elite in our studio. If you guys are looking for a recommendation, it works incredibly well. So all in all, if you are a creative professional seeking a Windows-based laptop that is powerful enough for still editing, video editing, and maybe even the occasional gaming, who knows guys, <laughs> then this machine is definitely one that you don't want to miss. If it were possible to get 5.5 stars out of five stars, I would give it, but since it isn't, we give this wonderful laptop five out of five stars, an absolutely brilliant laptop for creative professionals. Hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you all in the next video.